Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty at Trudeau. Welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Well, last time, we received a request from Alliance Command to go to the moon and sort out a VI, which we're most certainly going to be doing because the reward is one of the best in the whole damn game. I love sort of this game, by the way, because there's just so much thought been put into, yes, how uh, the actual solar system might develop in the future. So, say... Mercury, you go in, you can actually see the population. So a handful of people just manning a couple of uh, solar power plants. Meanwhile, you go yourself on Venus, just a handful of uh, researchers, 800 people. Go over to Uranus, however, that's got a massive population because it turns out to be a really good source of helium, which apparently we need for, like, space stuff. And also maybe balloons. It could just be balloons. I don't know. Another fun one is Mars, by the way, which you can't go to in this game, but it does have a picture on it, suggesting, you know, you would be able to go to it. Normally, there's only a picture of the surface if you can go there. You don't actually get to go there till Mass Effect 3, but when you do, it does actually look like that. They were true to the original architecture, which is very, very cool indeed. Oh, and this is super cute, by the way. I read about this one. So, Pluto, they've updated the artwork in the picture of Pluto to more accurately represent what Pluto looks like because we, in real life, have just learnt more about what Pluto really looks like in the time between Mass Effect 1 came out and now with the remaster. So, they've updated the artwork accordingly, which is just lovely. Still, none of that's where we're going, of course. We are going to... There she is. The Moon Marvelous. And this is also a lovely time to actually, yeah, try out a different team to what we normally get, because Liara's biotics are kind of useless against robots, machines that aren't really well taken out, droids in particular, by biotics. They're just not really affected by it. So, Rex theoretically could be useful, but to be honest, yeah. I feel like potentially, Tali and Garrus, who haven't really got much love so far this playthrough, they're kind of perfect for this, because just spamming huge number of tech abilities, that's good stuff. Also, I never noticed this was wrong in the original game, so shows how much attention I'm paying. Um, they fixed the Earth, because apparently, in the original, it was just backwards. And like, you know, California and Florida were on the wrong side, so that's nice. And you can just uh, open fire on America, if you want to. I'm assuming because of space, like, these bullets are going to land somewhere. So... I can't aim up. Hang on, I need to go more in this direction. Yeah, if I want to shoot Canada, I'm going to need to go more in this direction. Because there's only so up my cannon can go. So just a little bit further than a bit more in this direction. That should be Toronto. Right about there, I think. But yeah, the moon's actually super cool because the gravity here is a bit lower. It would be nice if that happened more often. Like, normally you just kind of assume every single planet you're running to is going to have, like, you know, super awesome normal gravity. Kind of did a flip there by accident, actually. But uh, yeah overwhelming majority of the time they've just got uh, normal earth gravity would be nice if there was a bit more wacky gravity going on but uh sadly no still there she is and she's already firing on me and uh when i say she i mean it on this occasion because yes this is uh, this is very very fun indeed so a virtual intelligence has gone rogue which they kind of shouldn't do because you know uh, as they very clearly said last time, oh no, this definitely isn't an AI or anything. We haven't made an AI. Now, whether they meant to or not is kind of uh, unclear. But yes, this VI has sort of uh, obtained intelligence. It's kind of sentient these days. So, you know, that's a bit of a shame. Just take you out. Now, firepower should mean one shot takes you down. Yeah, so far this thing's looking just absolutely A-OK. -okay. But uh, yes, though you don't actually learn it for certain within the uh, confines of this game, it kind of turns out later the AI we're about to take on will be making a reappearance in Mass Effect 2 and 3. This doesn't actually get confirmed until Mass Effect 3, so uh, whether, like, you know, this was just a record, whether they were actually planning this study point is, uh, is hard to say. But yeah, Edie in Mass Effect 2 and 3, this is her right here. I don't really consider that a spoiler, by the way, because it doesn't really, it doesn't really affect anything in any massively meaningful way. It's just a nice, fun thing to know. This is the origin of Edie. This is how she was born. And then we go and, like, you know, try and murder her. You'd think she'd hold more of a grudge, really. Anyway, three bases as need to be uh, taken out. And, uh, yeah, this is why I brought these lads along. Let's just uh, get you guys up to snuff. Tali has already got, yes, electronics up to master. Spectacular. Don't need damping. Sabotage, I think, does hurt these robots. But, to be honest, I'd rather just uh, rush her up to, yeah, maximum hacking. Because Tali is not 
generally that useful on the front line. The only thing she's good at is, you know, when there's lots of robots. And when there's lots of robots, you're going to want hacking. So I kind of feel like you may as well just get that maxed out. So yeah, ludicrously tough robot enemies. She can now just make them attack their allies. Very, very nice indeed. She doesn't really need this, to be honest. She's not really going to be needing that at all. I mean, I could use her as a bit of support. To be honest, yeah. I feel like at this point, her just doing a bit of support would not be the worst thing in the world. Uh, Garrus, we're going to be needing you to have uh, electronics, I'd say. That's going to be rather useful. And uh, he's also got first aid. Marvellous. But uh, yeah, the bare minimum. Advanced overload. Uh, that's going to be uh, of use. We should get you uh, advanced shield boost. That wouldn't hurt at all. Uh, honestly, Garrus, is, uh, he's pretty good with an assault rifle. Like... He's portrayed as a sniper a lot, but actually he's really good with assault rifles. I just give him an assault rifle, and generally that works really, really damn well. So, assault training as well. That's useful. Alright, get all his abilities back up as soon as possible. So, you know, he can shield boost straight away. He can use his uh, electronics straight away. That's all pretty darn good. And this is just uh, accuracy and damage with weapons. It's a bit flimsy, to be honest, in a world where accuracy doesn't count as much. But... I mean, okay. Advanced sabotage. At least give him access to damping. Other than that, master shield boost. You know what? You can have that. That is 10% bonus damage. It's not terrible. And the rest of it will just move you towards, uh, yeah, master overkill. As for me, I'm still holding the points. All right, because as soon as we're done with this, oh, we're going to have some stuff to spend that on. On we go, back of course to uh, the bunker, welcome to the bunker once again, though let's just do a little bit of uh, hacking because I shan't say no to free stuff. Oh you see right there, a better sniper rifle except in terms of heat and accuracy, but honestly screw heat and accuracy, I'll be taking an Avenger 5 and just double check the actual fire pattern. Honestly that's, oh! Oh now that I rather like, yes that'll do, and there we go. There's the trouble. All right, guys. I want you hanging back. All right. I just want to get eyes on something. Where's the trouble? Get to cover. And, oh. Guys, what did I just say? Uh, Tarling. I'd like that one on our side, please. And anytime you... Tarling. Did you... Okay, Tali may have slightly, slightly fluffed this. Garrus, why did I... Uh, why am I seeing you forward? Seriously, Garrus, come on. And Garrus is dead. This Garrus is why the thing you just did is the thing we don't do. That's the thing we don't do. So, no. 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 Okay, these guys can be a little bit on the uh, the tough side, by the way. Uh, seriously, uh, not not kidding. Uh, sabotage, hit him with that. And hopefully that's going to knacker his weapons. This isn't really the best option. And go, wait. Bloody hell. Okay, they're coming and I think we might be in a bit of trouble here. Uh, use overload. I'm going to go over to pistol for a bit more. Okay, well that should have knackered something at the bare minimum. And yeah, they, they move around fast. Really, really. Okay, they're all standing next to each other. Go! It did something. Fall back, Tali. Fall back. All right, she's doing okay. Uh, some of them are at least a little bit damaged. And they just will not stand the flip still. And yeah, biotics just don't do much against these lads. AI hack. Get that one on our side. Okay, I think they took out their friend there. Honestly, that'll do right over... There, I'm being shot. There's a lot of firepower right now. I'm going to get Garrus back up as a distraction. Unity. And then heal. And then... Gosh darn it, Tali. I just used my... Oh, bloody hell. Uh, okay. Well, some of them are going to go back over there. If my shield goes down, that's honestly fine. And retreat. Heal. I can't heal. Bloody hell. Okay. Yeah, this mission's not easy, by the way. These guys are... Nasty. Now this time, when I tell you to stay back here, you stay the flip back here. They're not staying the flip back there. Bloody useless, a lot of them. Okay, all I want is eyes on something. There's one. Tali, I'd like you to hack him. And now we're gonna... No, 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 guys. 
guys, 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 back with me, back with me, back with me, Tali, seriously, you don't, you don't want to be doing this, Tali, Tali, bloody hell, Tali, oh, cocky hell, okay, she's fine, she's got a shield, she's already used a shield uh, boost, that's all absolutely a okay, stay back, um, didn't really mean to do that, advanced assault droid, and now we just stay right over here, that's not bad, my shield's holding, they're right here, okay, uh, next up, yes, hit them with the next, uh, lovely, lovely overload, and soon as that happens, he's now more, hold still, okay, gonna be needing, uh, my shield boost, actually, if someone could just, uh, go over to different, no, that's, what on earth am I doing, there we go, lovely, two down, no one else is coming, and we're picking up stuff as we go. Probably. Just basic. Uh, oh, shield modulators and all sorts. And a combat scanner 5. Not bad at all. Okay, this is... Oh. I see you. Don't much. I've got a good... Oh, yes. They can take out cover and just put down a bit more over there. Shields are holding for now. All right. Be careful. Insanity mode. It's not a complete cakewalk. This was always a difficult, uh, difficult mission. Tarly. Tag that one. Did you get him? And, well, it seems to have turned over there. So I assume it's attacking its friend, right? I'm just gonna... Yep, it's attacking its friend. Fine. Good, good, good. Right, leave them to it. Guys, on me. All right, they're attacking each other. Good. Good, good, good. Everybody round the outside. Where's the other one? Oh, oh, bloody hell. There's this a bit, bit more. A bit more than I was expecting. I think it wore off, by the way, because they're bloody useless at killing each other. Okay, you're an advanced assault droid. I've got an overload. That should kill you. Nice. One more. Everyone forward. Flush him out. Flush him out. Flush him out. Never mind. He's right there. Um, everybody just hit him with all the things. Go. All right. Job at number one done. And yeah, these things are just going to drop stuff. And the stuff they're dropping is kind of tied to your level. So it's all going to be like, you know, level five and six, which is going to be very cocking useful indeed. And what's even more useful is, yes, they just dropped some tungsten rounds. So, uh, this is your bread and butter. You get rounds that are good against organics. You get rounds that are good against synthetics. So, mostly I don't use these. Because I'd rather have, like, you know, physics damage on my sniper rifle. But, on occasion, bloody hell, Shepard, chill out. Uh, yes, these can be rather useful, potentially. I'll go for it today, because clearly I need the power increase right now. And now all we need to do is... Uh, Kill all this stuff. Lovely. So a nice little VI conduit. Just uh, open fire with all of... Just let my weapon cool down for a second. There we go. There's a bit of toxic gas going on right now. So we're going to take a little bit of damage as time goes by. And seriously, guys. Okay, how about we just use the... Uh, yes, the lovely marksman. Which is not as good as it once was. I'm taking... It's a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of damage. I think we're all absolutely okay. And for some reason, they won't join in. They just refuse to actually join in taking out these bastards. Even though, you know, I kind of feel like they should be able to figure it out. Luckily, if you've got any health regen whatsoever, you can just kind of outheal the poison. It's like a tiny, tiny bit of poison damage. But it's like nothing. It doesn't really matter. And there we go. Number one goes down. Straight over to number two. I feel like Tali should enjoy this, by the way. Because at this point in her plot arc, she's still a bit bitter about the Geth taking her home world. So she's rather anti-robot. She enjoys breaking down robots with her power. So she's going to have a lovely time in this mission. Okay, into building number two. Honestly, let's get everyone uh, healed up and get rid of that poison. Which I just shook off by myself, but poor old Tali can't. Because you know what? Quarians are not so good on the old immune system. And the crates come good again. A nice little armor upgrade for Garrus. Looking very nice there, Garrus. That looks seriously badass on you. All right, in we go. Step two, slightly different layout in this bunker. You haven't seen me... Yeah, they're all over there somewhere. Come on, lads. Where are you? I don't like it when I can't see them. Let's just open fire. Draw a bit of attention. There we go. That's someone coming in this direction. Tale, I'm going to need him to be on our side, please. And there we go. Hacked. So now just... Still kind of coming for us, actually. Guys, back, 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 back. There's a good shield boost going on there. Everybody fall back into the nice tunnel. All right, everybody back, everybody back. 
Tale, Tale, I'm giving you orders right now. Just, just listen to me, please. Okay, there's, there's a few of them. They're all standing next to each other. Uh, so that there, master overload. That's gonna do some good work over in that. Dr oh, that's a rocket drone. Okay, that's. Okay, they're bringing out the rocket drones. But if I could hack one of them. All right, here we go, Mr. Rocket Drone. Here we go. Just get to cover. And one, two, three. As soon as you get a bit closer. As soon as it comes around the corner. There we go. That's done nothing. Okay, where's the where's the rocket drone? Has anyone seen the rocket drone? Has anyone seen the... Guys, maybe fall back a bit. We're under a lot of fire right now. Use your shield boost, please. Where's the rocket drone? Where's the rocket drone? I need to see the rocket drone. I see an advanced assault drone. Oh, these guns are too slow. I don't like it. Okay, one goes down. There he is. Advanced rocket drone. Tali, knacker him. We got him. We got one of them. I don't know who we got. We got at least one. And now they're all taking each other out, which is great. And that's a big attack right over there. Someone else tossing sabotage. Someone else tossing more of that. I want him. I want all of them done. Actually, we're down to two. I think the rocket drone just basically won it for us. So basically, good for those guys. Everybody concentrate. All fire power on that drone. And how's Garrus doing? They're a bit low on the old health. So I'm just going to go over to this. Who's got anything? We got damping. You've got overload. And you've got sabotage. And I've got sabotage too. Oh, now that's a big old pile of stuff. Any more for any more? All right, well done. Those two are just having a nice snuggle in the corner, as they do if you don't romance either of them. If you didn't know that, you can uh, romance Tali or Garrus by the end of this trilogy. But if you don't, they end up romancing each other, which is just lovely. Yeah, I felt like we were definitely carried by uh, Tali's AI hacking just there. I'm pretty sure the rocket drone just took out, like, uh, several of them for us, which is marvellous. And I believe at this point, yes. So Edie's about to get a bit more fighty with kinetic barriers and, of course, more poison. So, okay, that's all absolutely fine. This thing can just keep firing all day. Sorry, Garrus might have been a bit close to the uh, problem there. So we're just going to take all this out, no trouble whatsoever. Then we just have to shoot some barriers on the way back out again. Okay, number two goes down insofar as we've taken out all the conduits. Now we just need to blast our way past a handful of shields in our way. But honestly, it's not much of a barrier. It's fine. Okay, back outside. Top up everybody's health to get rid of any uh, last poison. I believe this should be the last one over here. The third of three. Love it. Nice thing about this place is, yeah, they're already sort of gathering before I even get inside, just because they're being blocked in by all of this too. So, okay, kind of curious uh, how well grenades might work on this occasion. Oh, now that'll do the... Oh, okay, that was... I mean, honestly, that sort of worked. Tali, could you get one of the rocket drones again, please? And come on. Okay, everybody fall back, everybody fall back, everybody fall back. And then that was not the right thing. I didn't press the right button. Okay, everybody get your shields back. That drone is... Tali, that was not the one you were supposed to. Oh, there's a lot of rockets, by the way. They're going to be coming around the corner in a sack. And... Fire in the hole. Anytime that... That's done something. It's not much, but it's something. Uh, okay. I'm going to activate that. Everybody start spamming any ability you've got that might do something to... That's a drone. Rocket drone, rocket drone, rocket drone, rocket drone. Uh, if you can sabotage it, great. And it, it's got healing. Everybody move. Don't let them get on top of us. Oh, that's it's an angry rocket drone. I don't like an angry rocket drone. I don't like an angry rocket drone. Uh, just hit it with... I said, don't all get together. The one actually we've got is the AI tends to be obsessed with taking out you. Meaning, there's a good opportunity for you to just, uh, yeah, try and, uh, also they can't fire that often. Go. One more. One more. One more. Garrus is actually, never mind, Garrus is not okay. Uh, can somebody just, like, hit that guy with, like, whatever we've got left? And, like, seriously, uh, anything will do. That's a bit of damage. Any more for any more? Don't. Don't let it escape. Tali, just go and shoot it with a gut. Tali. It's just play. 
No, no. I think we got her. Okay. Yeah, the AI sometimes gets a bit uh, obsessed with shooting you rather than your companions. So you can sort of lead them on a bit of a merry dance. So, okay. That one was a bit trickier, but it was the first bunker we didn't die in. So I'll take that as a win. And bear in mind, this game used to be harder. This is, uh, yes, the now uh, much easier spread. Then again, not so much, actually. We're kind of hitting the mid-game now. So normally, even in old Mass Effect, by now, your spread will be starting to come down a bit. So as a result of that, uh, yeah, now we're kind of getting back to old insanity mode. The early game is easier. The mid to late game, it stops making a difference. It starts becoming more what it used to be. So... Yeah, some of these mid to late game missions are going to be as they ever were, potentially. Okay, now guys, be ready, because I'm pretty sure this final bunker summons some extra friends. And there we go, new drones. Do we know where the new drones are? Okay, they're in the the other room. And it looks like, actually, it's, what, one basic and a handful of others. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a grenade over there. Then I'm going to break this, and then as soon as it breaks... Here it comes. Um, that was not what I intended to happen, like, at all. Uh, rocket drone, hack it. Others, I'm just going to, yeah, knack it them with overload and overload some more. And now that's, yep, yeah, they are definitely, they just took out their own friends. Our shields are holding. There's not much left at this point. There we go. Job done. That should be the last one. I don't think they call up uh, anymore. I'm not sure there's anyone to be called up. So, I think I just caught Garrus in the blast radius there, dear old flipping dear. Have used up a few uh, grenades, unfortunately. But what can you do? I mean, what are they there for other than being used during difficult situations? I like, by the way, how you can just completely ignore the shield. It's like the worst shield in the world. Because uh, if you just shoot them uh, right over here, that's fine. That's all absolutely yeah, okay. You can completely ignore the shield. It's such a bad shield. So here we go. Just taking out the last few using uh, humiliation by just shooting around the shield we put up. And in just a moment, there we go. The fledgling AI cries out for help in its dying moments in binary. And unfortunately then, they die. But more importantly, for no well-explained reason, this is the moment I just get to choose a specialization. I am no longer just an infiltrator. So me, I am good at guns and I'm good at tech. So the game's now saying, hey, would you rather be better at tech or rather be better at guns? So operative, that's your tech user. So all my tech attacks, you know, my sabotage, overload, damping, etc. They just have faster recharge, so I can spam them a lot more efficiently. Overload, sabotage, gonna be a bit better. But I'm gonna be honest, for me, it's, uh, it's kind of all about commando. So all weapons are stronger. Immunity, better. And immunity was already ridiculous. I've not really had to use it so far, mainly because I forget, but... It is good. Marksman and Assassination, both better. I mean, that's the option right there. Yes, yes, I'm going to be a commando. And that means immediately I have just got that in place of Infiltrator. So all of a sudden, yeah, heat build up on pistols and sniper rifles down by 6%, then just goes up 1% to go, versus tech explosion damage going up by, yeah, like a couple of percentage points too. We've also got immunity, specialization at the end there, so recharge time is down, and damage with weapons is up, and then finally, yes, assassinator marksman cooldown on them goes down too. And honestly, as I've just leveled up again, so I am now going to have ludicrous bonus damage with all my weapons. I'm hitting like 20% harder, which is great. And I can use like uh, all my abilities constantly. Immunity, if anyone gets through my already pretty damn tough shield. And I've got a lot of health and I can have a lot more with bonus uh, fitness. At this point, I've got like, you know, Rex levels of tankiness, which is lovely. And Assassin Specialization 2, so I can start using those abilities much, much faster. Honestly, I'm going to go up to Advanced Marksman as well. That's pretty darn good. And then, what's the next most logical thing to do? Honestly, probably now just invest in weapons and get them up towards max. Because I will be wanting Master Marksman and Assassination by the end of the game. So that there, that's pretty darn solid. As for Tali, you're good enough in terms of your general abilities. Let's move you towards uh, Shotguns. As for Garrus... Yeah, there's your master overkill. Spectacular. That's honestly all you need uh, there for the time being. And other than that, 
Master Sabotage wouldn't hurt. Honestly, Master Overload, because that just gets you a giant pile of shielding while you're going. Also, I've picked up, um, quite a bit of stuff, as it turns out. Yes, like, um, a lot of stuff. And all of this, as far as I'm concerned, is just free money. Oh, and just on the way out. Oh my, that's one a hell of a pistol. I mean, okay, the fire rate's still a bit on the slow side, but I'll flip and take it. Yeah, I've got a weird situation right now where my sniper rifle's got a faster fire rate than my pistol, which feels wrong. Like, really wrong. And this is where this starts getting dumb, because if I just nip down to the shop in my own ship, then, yeah, cry around six. Just pick that up at random off a robot. I'm never going to use that, all right? 30% minus accuracy, it's just not so great. But it's worth, like, you know... 12,000 credits by itself, which is just, just lovely. Weapon stability, never gonna want that. Shield bypass, garbage. Shield modulator, might keep that one. Then we've got ourselves a whole bunch of pistols and whatnot we don't really need. Honestly, once you get up to fives and sixes, yeah, I'm just gonna sell all my junk. I just kind of noted a whole bunch of stuff as junk that I don't want in the menu. That's right up to 288 right there, but there's just... Am I ever gonna be needing, you know duplicates of Energize Weave or Exoskeleton 5. In fact, I've got, I've got so many Exoskeleton 5s. All right, that there, that's fine. I'm not going to be needing that. That's a-okay. Anything I see a duplicate, just sell it. And uh, rounds, toxic damage, okay, that's fine, but I don't need three of them. And with all that money, I'd say we can, you know, potentially treat Tali to some armor. Because right now, she doesn't really have any. And she could definitely use it. She needs shielding, damn it. So let's just uh, slap that on uh, her right over here. Yeah, right now she's wearing a basic armor, isn't she? Oh, now that's a bit nicer. Not spectacular, but at the bare minimum, at least it comes with some shields. You know what? I'm having a nice time with Tali today. I think today's actually going to be Tali day. All right. Tali gets to go out and kill some robots. And now she gets to go out and kill her favorite robots of all. The Geth. Because if we just continue our little tour up the very outskirts of the galaxy, straight up from the three areas we've already cleared, we reach, hang on over here, yes, the Armstrong Nebula, which I am pretty sure Message if we just uh, head over there, I thought so. Normandy. Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. All right, and it is indeed one per system. So we just nip in, do a bit of scanning while we're passing by, and I like this mission because every single outpost is a bit different. And by that I mean sometimes you're going to be, you know, fighting on foot. Sometimes you're just going to be using the Mako. It's kind of interesting that each one comes with its own different distinct challenge. So Margie over here. I think I know what this one might be actually. Yes. Though just in case I'm wrong. Yeah. Tali can come along because, yeah, more tech strength means better repairing of the Mako. Though I think on this occasion we'll leave Garrus behind. Ooh, do I want to bring... I think I want to bring some teeth on this mission. So, uh, Liara, you sit this one out. Rex, you're back up. And as for Rex, I could move him up towards, yeah, more and more uh, hardening and damage reduction. But, after advanced shield boost, honestly, I think he'd be pretty good uh, with Barrier. Let's get Barrier up, because then he's got, uh, yeah, maxed out fitness, maxed out health, master immunity, maxed out Barrier as well. He'll just be unkillable. Here we go. Gath camp has been spotted and appears to be immediately opening fire on me. One should sort you out. Lovely. Don't worry about any of uh, this. So yes, this one is like a, uh, a mountain assault where there are a whole bunch of turrets guarding the only reasonable way up because the whole thing's a bit steep. And when I say the only reasonable way up, I'm the goddamn Mako. For me, any way is a reasonable way up, alright? The Geth have made a catastrophic error here. No slope's gonna stop me. 
Oh, you thought I was going to go up the sensible route. Well, no. No, actually. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna climb up the side of a mountain because I damn well can. Oh, look at them on the logical path. What a bunch of losers. No, 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 no. We'll be avoiding all of that. We won't be fighting our way up the path. I'm just going to use these new boosters to go up the side of a cliff. Now, I could have done this anyway in old Mass Effect, but it's certainly faster these days. I'll give it that and... Ooh, I'm being jammed. Right, well, that's because they've got themselves jamming equipment. No, 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 no. Not to the snipers. And not to you either. Knock him down. Okay, who else have we got, by the way? I see a rocket trooper. Hang about. I've kind of got a little bit of, uh, yeah, cover off the ridge here. So that's all fine. You're nice and dead. You're stuck behind a thing. You are now in flight, buddy. And that should be you nice and dead at this point. Are we good? And there's like one more, but I think we've taken out most of it. So, okay. On we go, on we go, on we go. Because the nice thing about turrets guarding the, uh, the road up is they're not very useful if I just ignore them. Because they can't bloody move. So, okay. What have we got, guys? What have we got? Ooh. Rocket trooper, you say? There's definitely a sniper over there somewhere. Slightly giving away his position there. And now he's... I mean, I'll give you. Well done. Who else is left, by the way? There's... Oh. There's one here. Tarly, would you like to do the honours? Potentially, let's just uh, whittle him down a little bit. And then... Oh, he's fallen over. Tarly, this one's all yours. Okay, and... I think she did get the kill as well. Well flipping. Uh-oh. Okay. There's also a Colossus, which I forgot was going to be a a, a, a thing. Uh, actually, sorry. I didn't mean to just do like, you know, an accidental boss fight or anything. Uh, but I kind of did. So that's that's all fine. Uh, the, the Mako's now. I'm I'm stuck on a... I'm stuck on a... On a I'm going to run into it to try and knock it over. There we go. And while it's being knocked over, I'm just going to keep it... Okay, I'm going to give it a cuddle. So I'm not sure it can actually do anything while it's on the ground. Um, so this is... I'd never thought about this before, but giving it a nice reassuring cuddle so it just can't get up is actually an incredibly good tactic. So there we go, that's that mission done, even though I haven't actually taken out these bastards down here, because I couldn't be bothered. So on this occasion, yeah, no bunker. In fact, you can do the whole thing in the Mako if you want to. It's just, you know, a clifftop assault in a tank, which is lovely. Alright, planet number two, massive great ridges here, but I can never resist just going for an explore because uh, we've got anomalies, uh, we've got debris, and uh, we've got an anomalous signal. Well, I can never resist an anomalous signal. And yeah, this is one of those worlds that really, really teaches you, hey, maybe you shouldn't always just try and uh, drive up the side of a cliff. Maybe just sometimes uh, you should try and figure out a sensible place to climb slightly more shallow terrain because... Uh, yeah, some of these cliffs are too much even for the mighty goddamn Mako. Here we go. Coming up on the anomalous signal. Whatever it is, it's got defences set up around it. This isn't the Geth camp. That's the far side of this planet. So, okay. What precisely are we coming up on? Because I cannot bloody remember what this is. This looks like, yeah, reasonable climbing space right over here. Okay, I'm going to be right on top of these turrets by the loops of it. No, don't fall over. What precisely am I looking at? Because this is not what I came here for. And oh, okay. I mean, it is Geth. That's certainly true. And excuse me. No, you're flipping. Don't. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, let's just uh, take out. Never mind. That one's already exploded. Um, okay. Okay. It is Geth, it's just not the actual Geth encampment. So, okay. What precisely is uh, all of this for then? Alright, let's just start keeping on, keeping on, keeping on and giving these guys a bit of a poke if we can. Because, uh, yes, here we go. No, no, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Armatures are not that tough when I've got a tank. It, it's fine. And basic gun will do a good job right over there. There, my shields are... Ah, uh, they're holding. It's it's fine. Maybe take out the turret, because... Problems. Anytime you're ready, lads. Anytime you're ready. Shields are holding together. Okay, just two more. No, you don't. No, you most certainly don't. You see, that one? That one's excited to see me. He's doing a lovely dance. And jump. And then just... 
Boom. Never seen this before, by the way. No idea why he's doing a dance, but I think it's lovely he is. And my shields are... Ooh. Okay, the shields are down, which is a little bit of a problem. But just keep moving. Make sure he can't uh, hit me by the way. And... Job done. Okay, whatever's going on uh, over here. It was a little bit on the nasty side. Looks like a uh, Geth transmitter. Okay, so using the Alliance's own FTL, not clear whether data has been directed, uh, nor the content of the signal. So, okay, they're sending possibly fake signals. I honestly can't remember whether there's like, you know, a deeper thing here, implying they might be trying to spoof our own signals. They might have even been trying to lure us here. Okay, or could fit into the wider point of this mission, which we'll be getting to later. For the time being, though, uh, yeah, Tarly, can you just do us a little bit of uh, healing up? Get this thing back up to snuff, please. All right, officially, we're now going over to uh, here. But I love how sometimes you can just, you know, spot the stuff in the distance before you even get there. All right, there's something yellow on that cliff over there. And I know I'm going to be wanting it, even though when I first saw it, it wasn't even on the map yet. It's a lump of solid gold. I am rich. I can retire and give up this life of stopping crime. All right, we're coming up on the camp proper. And at this point, I can't see what's uh, going on. So, okay, that's fine. I know it's somewhere around over here. If need be, I can go back to the map to double check. And, uh, yeah, take a bit of a right here. Should be up in this direction. And, yeah, I'm walking into... Uh, there we go. I see you, lads. Right, okay. Best to have the high ground. Never a bad call. There we go. We're just going to have... A... Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. You've made a bit of a mistake here. Because I've got a tank and you left your tanks over on the far side of the bloody planet. And no. There we go. That was two for the price of one over there. Shields holding very nicely. No, you don't. And there's a sniper there. Was that level up, by the way? It was, and it was a giant pile of money, too. One left. One left somewhere. Hang on, where is it? Oh, there you go. Okay, we're just going to slightly knock you down. Tale, all yours if you'd like to. All right, just knacker him with the overload. And uh, there we go. Is he about to spawn a boss, by the way? All targets down. No, on this occasion, not. Job is flipping. Never mind, I'd forgotten about this. Yes, there's there's a drop ship. There's a drop ship. This one, there's a drop ship. It's over there. It's dropping stuff. But that's okay, because once again, I've got a tank. You've really dropped the wrong thing off here. But yes, I'm supposed to be... Ah, I'm supposed to be taking out the drop ship. Okay, well, there's no point attacking these guys. Right, yes, I'd forgotten about this. So, yes, the drop ship needs to go down. There's no point taking out the reinforcements. The bloody robots are coming off a production line or something. Uh, so, okay. Before we actually bother taking out these laddies. Uh, we just need to chase off the dropship. So it is literally just a dropship. It doesn't have guns on it. So find a good position over here. And yeah, uh, light arms seem to have like no effect whatsoever. Just one more cannon blast. There we go. That's been driven off. Oh no, no you don't. Come back here you. Come back here you coward. Right. Well, they've abandoned this position. So they have left some, uh, yeah, down on the ground. Kind of sad for them, to be honest, because now I'm just going to shoot them with a tank. Planet number three. Very different, very flat, lovely new blizzard effect. And uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of the possibility of uh, Threshamores dotted about. This looks like Threshamore terrain to me. Especially as I'm being lured uh, right now onto a big open ice sheet. Yes, this is... Yeah, I figured as much, you stupid bastards. This one seems... Oh. This one seems a bit tougher. Okay. He's taking a bit of a battering, mind you. Okay, well, we're taking him out because I feel like my shepherd would consider the elimination of Threshamores to be quite an important public service, actually. So, okay. Let's just uh, take you out, buddy. Right, just about got him. Any moment now... Down he goes. Job done. There we go. That is 15,000 credits. I'd like to feel I'm like, you know, claiming a bounty here. My shepherd would definitely take out every single bastard Threshamore in the world. So, okay. We have got ourselves a whole bunch of dead people here. Any chance you guys? Telltale signs of Geth weapons fire. Okay. Geth have been mangled by the Threshamore. At least he got what was coming to him. Ah. So... 
yeah, this fight sort of uh, headed onto the ice sheet, and unfortunately, there's always a bigger fish. Still, we do have over here. Ooh. Okay. Giant monolith McJibble. Prothean ruins. Very, very fancy indeed. I didn't remember these were here, but this is... This is just lovely. Mass Effect 1 put the damn effort in. It was just great. There's a Prothean data disc. Great. So, uh, there we go. Giant pile of money, and that's... Seven grand for a Prothean data disc. I feel like that'd be worth more than that. Still, fast like the planets as the jamming kicks in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember this one. This is about clearing out a, uh, a valley of the Geth. So I see you guys over there. Probably best actually to take out the uh, the little lads first. They're going to be easier to knock down and take out. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of supporting fire coming in. And as for the Colossus, just step back out of the way. And I'm pretty sure that hit us anyway, but whatever. And then just a little bit more, actually. We good? There we go. That's better. Maybe we take out... Yeah, take out the... Um, I completely missed. Okay, that's the Colossus. That's fine. And then just take you out. Colossus, a lot of bloody health here. As long as I don't get hit by his main guns. As long as I make sure his shields aren't allowed to regenerate. We should be A-OK. -okay. So just there we go. That's him down. Now it's just the... Uh, the main encampment so that's just a case of uh, knock them down bit by bit honestly they don't stand a chance at this point the shields will uh, hold uh, there might be reinforcements coming in but on this occasion i don't remember what form they may or may not take plus i'm getting a ton of grenades here which is uh, very welcome because i was a bit low on them are we good or are we excuse me no you don't yep okay we got uh, reinforcements coming in. What forms it take on this occasion? Do I need to take you guys out? I don't think so. Well, how about we just uh, shoot you? Yes, it's basic uh, shock troopers, which is... Ooh, a Geth Prime, which is... I mean, very, very intimidating. If you're on foot. If you're not on foot, it's not so bad, to be honest. It, it, it's kind of fine, actually. So, okay, they're all dead. Lovely. <laughs> Just a good chance to murder a whole bunch of Geth, really. And pick up 10 million bits of equipment, which is basically just free money. Here we go, the fourth of four, and I love this one. Because you're not on a planet, you're on a tiny little uh, rogue planetoid that's become a moon. So what's in the sky? A giant massive planet. Love it. Ah, uh, yes, this final one is something a bit different, though, which is... Uh, it's not just a Geth encampment. This is an area the Geth have taken over. It used to be a research base, meaning... Uh, we can't just use the tank on this occasion. I mean, we can a bit, because the tank's hilarious, but the tank can't fit through the front door of the base itself, tragically. In fact, it's all a bit too suspiciously peaceful up here, so... Yeah, my brain's telling me, might not be when we come back out. Though do not forget to level up, there's Master Marksman for the old pistol. As for you, Tali, you can have a bit of shotguns, because you do enjoy some shotguns. And Rex, yeah, just keep moving barrier in the right direction. Don't really need stasis. Then again, I may as well give you just uh, basic stasis so you've got it. All right, eyes open because I cannot remember how this place goes precisely. Well, how it goes is uh, free stuff, John. Everybody loves free stuff. All right, Tali, this one's on you. Because this could be tough. What are we looking at? Ooh. Okay. Only one way in. Rex, I want you guarding the way in. Eyes open. No, it's husks. Oh, well, that's a bit unfortunate because I didn't actually bring my... Guys, guys, with me. Guys, with me. Or let time um, let Rex be at the front, actually. Rex, you be at the front. Tali, towards the rear. Honestly, Rex can just take this. He can just take this all day long. So... If Rex just wants to stand at the front, that's fine. I'll heal him if he needs it. But honestly, he doesn't need it. He, he's fine. And we'll just um, stand at the back and knock over, yeah, husks. Because seriously, nothing can kill Rex. It's fine. Rex is, Rex is functionally unkillable. So he's... Okay, Rex has gone down, but it took him a long time to do. And in the meantime, yeah, my sniper rifle can just knock down all of these bastards. Uh, Tali, hit him with a bit of... It's not going to do much, really, is it? But this is, this is fine. Right, you're going to be done. Uh, my sniper rifle is just, I love physics damage. Physics damage is great. You know what? I think it's time for some assassination. 
Yeah, that's you dead, and that's you falling over as well. Job done. And yeah, how long's the uh, cooldown? Okay, it's already getting there. Any more for any more? Just the water. Right, in which case, uh, Unity. Rex, back up. And he's looking fine, and he's... He's straight in for more. All right, Rex is... Uh, he's just straight in for the next, and down it goes. Okay, I'm kicking a lot more ass all of a sudden. This is... This is looking good. What have we got in here, by the way? This is... Just more husks. So, uh, Rex, all yours. Just Rex, get in there. Go on, buddy. There you go. Rex just basically getting in there and then just killing everything by himself while I just, you know, shoot them long range. This is, this is the dream team. All right, this is the, uh-oh, I think I'm being hit from behind, actually. Uh, Rex, I think I might be being, um, attacked from behind. Are we, yes, I think I might be. Sorry about that, didn't, didn't realise. But I think we're golden, uh, at this point. So if you just want to, oh, just look at that. Hammerhead rounds and a sniper rifle. All right. Sometimes don't prioritize pure damage. Prioritize, hey, this is knocking them to flip down. Because when they're down on their ass, they can't use their abilities. And sometimes that's the most dangerous thing of all. So, uh, I've got a bit more yet, mind. I think somebody might have uh, spawned in behind us. But for the time being, I'll just be helping myself to, oh yeah, we're jammed. We're jammed for the time being. Okay, there's more yet. Also, did I forget to level up or have I just been leveling up ludicrously fast? I think I have. You know what? More power to the sniper. Get that sniper up towards max. Tali, you can just have some more shotgun. That's fine. Rex, just continue on with the barrier. Love it. I mean, or I just walk straight past. Oh, no, I feel like I did not just walk straight past. Okay, we've taken out some husks. I feel like now it's the real one. Yeah, this is this is where things get a bit real, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Guys, guys, guys. With me. With me. On the corners. The Geth. All right, you know what that means? Uh, no. Ooh, Destroyer. Tali, on our side, please. There we go. That's one hacked lad. What else have we got? That Geth Destroyer is useless. Cocking hopeless. Right, Geth Destroyer. And then just knock him down. Even the biggest, toughest Geth cannot resist physics. This is why I go hammerhead. I could have like 30% more power on this rifle right now. But you don't need it. Why would you want that? Hammerhead round. This is Hammerhead 3. This isn't even the best Hammerhead round. But I'm just going to use it anyway. Because it's so damn good. Oh, the snipers. That's scary. That's that's always scary. Uh, Tali, you got anything for me? You do not. But that's all fine. Because you've been knocked over. And dead. Alright, it's a little bit worried. Rex is looking dicey. Don't know what's up ahead here. It's another sniper. Which is scary. Okay, that's... Fine. That is bad cover for you, buddy. Bad cover for you. And this is... That's not cover at all. Now he's dead. Rex, just go for it. Everyone just push, 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 push. Don't know much is left. Uh, I think it's two. And that is one sniper. Dead. And... Oh! One true pop. Knock him down. Job done. Don't forget I've got immunity. In fact, I've got bloody specialization in it. We good? Apparently not. Someone's still shooting at us. Does anyone know who? I mean, I swear I just heard someone shoot us. But there's no reds. I think we're fine, actually, lads. Good. Good, good, good. Back outside. I suspect there might be some trouble. Alright, prepare. Prepare for trouble. Prepare for trouble. Get in the damn tank. And... What are we saying? Yes, I thought we might be seeing uh, some stuff here. And, okay, we can't really see it. Screw it. Just just start firing. Fire up anything, actually. It, it's fine. Everything's under control. Everything's okay. This this is why we left the tank parked right outside. One more to go. So nowhere he is. Hello over there. And boom. I thought one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Plot twist? There's a fifth final super awesome secret mega final base. In a brand new never discovered system too. Welcome to Grissom. 
And on the final planet, we've once again got something a little bit different. So, yeah, some defenses all around this little bunker right over here. Take out the small fire spot first, then just keep on circling. Yeah, small arms fire will take care of the shields. The main hull, that's a bit trickier. So I think we're doing okay so far. Just keep on keeping on. Shouldn't be a major issue. But yeah, once we've taken out one, I might use the old cuddle tactics to take out the other. Yep, I think we're down to just one. So, okay. Guys, 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 guys. Right up the arse over here. And then honestly, I'm not sure I actually need that. No, at this point, any nudge whatsoever will just keep it falling over. So I can just sort of, uh, yeah, just uh, keep nudging into it. Keep nudging into it. Keep nudging into it. And then it's... It's now on my back. I'm now giving it... I'm giving it a ride, and I'm still I'm still hurting it under the circumstances. So now it can't. This is this is fascinating. This is this is really fat. I'm going to shove it over here. Actually, if I put it right here, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it, oh oh it's it's got oh dear oh dear it managed to get up dear oh flipping dear. Not for too much longer it doesn't. That's a shame. I was enjoying giving it a ride. Right now it now it's under me. Now it's under me. Now I'm on top of it. There we go. We've switched positions. Variety is the uh, spice of life. Wouldn't want our marriage to get stale after all. And one final boot should do ya. Job done. And some Medigel and some stuff for the old infantry. Right, in we go for the final confrontation against these ravenous, monstrous, unstoppable, unfeeling killbots. Except uh, here's a bit of an odd twist, which is, yes, this is... This is all very peculiar. So, um, the exterior of the building looks like the bunker, but the interior looks like the warehouse, which... Was that a thing back in Mass Effect 1? Because I swear it wasn't. I swear this was just a warehouse, but now... Now it looks like a bunker, but like, that means the door's... The door's there, but now if we go up to... To this door, there's, there's an upstairs, which... I mean, that doesn't make the slightest bit of cocking sense, but okay, guys, stay just where you are. What have we got? We've got a big open space. Geth Destroyer. Tarling, get it on our side. All right, that's hacked. Good, 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 good. Now, the problem is I don't actually have... Yeah, uh, we've got a bit of a problem here, actually, which is there's a lot of them, and I can't see what the bloody hell's going on. Except now there's, now there's not an... Oh, 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 no, no, get, get down, get down. Oh dear. Um, we've got no biotics, which is a bit of a concern. Knock that guy over while I overload him. Okay, that's going to do some good work. And now I can use... Okay, I'm almost back to normal. You know what? They're all standing next to each other. That's going to do some good work too. You're going to go down. I can use my... Yeah, the impact on all of that to get you back up. You're just jittering, buddy. That's all fine. Well, you know what? Assassination. That gets my heat down these days. That's you dead. Another one bites the dust. We good. Oh, sniper. No, not sniper. Ghost. But that's fine. Ghosts are scary too. All right. Just watch out. What are we looking at? Oh, I'd like him to go down if at all possible. Uh, that's a good hit on him. No. Get sapper. He's got a bit of poison on me. Not much, but there's two. Possibly one ghost, one... One sapper, I'm not sure. Just toss a little overload at them. They move fast and... Okay, actually, you know what? Rex, could you... Your throw's not working. Okay, hit him with what you've got. It might do at least a little bit of damage. That's him knocked over. Yeah, my physics. My physics will do that. My physics didn't do the job. It did the job on one of them. I think that might be all that's left. So, Tarly, hit it with the old sabotage if you... Oh, there's a rocket! Guys... There's a rocket launcher at the top. We ain't done yet. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. I just want uh, him down, actually. Oh! Luckily, rockets move incredibly slowly. So I can just basically... Oh! Out of the way again, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Would you mind dying? Okay, I'm pretty sure you're either dead or knocked over. Either's good, to be honest. I can't bloody see. Never mind. He's... Oh! I'm about to be shot again. But just a little bit... Seriously, rockets in this game are comically slow. And you are not taking no for an answer, are you, buddy? And no, no, bloody hell. These, these guys are so much easier when you can just lift them. Much easier. Hack them. There we go. Get them on our side. Then we can just finish him off while he's hacked and thus not really attacking us. Good, 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 good. Hit him with everything. 
if you'd be so kind. That's looking good. That's looking good too. Right, I think all that's left is uh, whatever's up top, which is that guy who just refuses to die. Right, assassination. Well, that's him, dead lover. And unfortunately, there's a bit of a twist here. As the last geth falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the geth worlds behind the Perseus Veil. The transmitter shuts down. You see, it turns out this wasn't an invasion, it wasn't a staging ground, it wasn't anything untoward at all. This was a series of broadcasting relays. We got a hint of it earlier with, uh, yes, the signal. They were hijacking a signal so they could broadcast it. They didn't want to invade anything. They just wanted music. They were curious in the Quarians, who were their creators, music. And I love that. I love that so much because this is uh, this is the final stage of a fairly long little side mission. You don't have to do. You can very easily miss and then it's just one texting at the end that just recontextualizes the Geth a lot because 99% of this game they're just unthinking unfeeling kill bots but then you just get that slight hint that actually there might be something just something a bit more to them than that and that was the subtlety that Mass Effect lost over the years like in Mass Effect 3 they literally sit you down and say commander here's a slideshow of how the geth are actually a put upon people and are not the bad guys. Look, we've got feelings and emotions and we suffer. Look, look at the PowerPoint presentation I've prepared for you. No. Mass Effect 1 treated you like a grown-up, damn it. It just, you know, let there be little tiny hints for you to figure out hidden on a backwater planet all by yourself. And if you missed it, you missed it. But if you went exploring, you were rewarded with a much better understanding of the universe. It was lovely. And on top of that, I've found a giant pile of geth data, which as was established back on the Citadel right at the beginning, is something that's hard to come by, because when they die, they fry their own memories. You lead, I'll follow. Now weirdly, even though Tali just saw me download that, she doesn't actually want to chat about it right now, but I suspect she might want to back on the ship. Seriously though, how does this place have an upstairs when it doesn't have an upstairs and the external door is, I don't know. I swear this didn't used to be the case. And another award for me, Raikou 7. Oh my. And an Equalizer 6, just moving myself slightly up in that direction. So, I mean, I like the Equalizer. That's pretty darn good. So, okay, we have got new toys. This is the same thing we had before, just hitting a little bit harder. And as for this pistol, it's... Oh! Oh, now this I could deal with. Yes, it's a burst fire. Lovely. I am kind of surprised they haven't actually uh, rebalanced the economy, by the way, because without even really trying that hard, and having only really visited about uh, a third of the galaxy, I'm approaching a million credits right now. So, honestly, I may as well just uh, buy any nice thing that comes up. So, yeah, you know what? Mercenary 7 for Rex, that is ludicrous damage protection and shields. Uh, why the flip not? I mean, look at that. And he's back in his traditional red too. And he gets an extra slot. Oh my. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. To be honest, I hadn't actually uploaded it yet. I hadn't done anything with it. But uh, sure, why not? Because this is pretty much the most valuable pilgrimage thing anyone will ever have brought back in the history of forever. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. And there we go. She has now got the best pilgrimage present ever. I'm not sure that ever really comes up again. It gets mentioned in one voice line at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. I'm not sure if it actually matches in Mass Effect 3 at all, which you really think it would do under the circumstances, but I'm pretty sure this just doesn't go anywhere because it was too much of an obscure thing 
out of the way in a side mission, so they didn't really want to, you know, penalise you for not doing it, I guess. Still, that's been a lovely day out with Tali, but unfortunately, I think it might be time for her to go back in the box. Because, uh, yes, it's time for us to get back on with the main plot. Over to Pharos next time. For that, we're going to be needing Liara back. So, uh, sorry, Tali. Hope you had a lovely day out. Shot a whole bunch of geth, etc, etc. Because, yeah, she's very situational. Some missions, Tali is great, but most of the time, she's just not 100% what you need. So, uh, Liara and Rex, the dream team, is back together next week as we actually get on with the main plot. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.